Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Nice to meet you. Gianluca. Um, I'm after Ferrari. <laughs> you are in the right place. <laughs> I, I can see that. Yeah, I can see that. I'm looking, I'm looking at your times. Five minutes. Yeah, it's possible. Rent a car or per minute. You start, yeah, you start car, and turn off, finish. Drive to the end of there, come back and go, thank you very much. Okay, I need a Ferrari. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the California. This one. Okay. What I need is uh, your driving license. No problem. You know. There you go. Thank you, Paul. Okay, it is still valid. <laughs> <laughs> this is your contract. We have to check the condition of the car, okay. damages, etc. Sure. Okay. There's a mark here. There are a couple of stone chips, you know. We generally consider only the big damages. Seems good to me. Yeah, I think it's good for you. <laughs> I need a couple of sinter. On there. Sinter here. Yes. One. Great. Thank you very much indeed. Enjoy thank the you. car. I will, thank <laughs> you. You don't have to be a millionaire. For 70 euros you can drive around Maranello and be in a red Ferrari. It's, it's surely everybody's dream, isn't it? And for 20 euros, they'll even video it, so they'll video you in a Ferrari driving around Maranello, the birthplace of Ferrari. How cool is that? Love it. The sun shines out. Happy days. Maranello is part of a motor valley where 20,000 Italians are in the business of building sports cars and bikes. Together, they generate a gobsmacking 10 billion euros of sales every year. Do you know, driving around here, you see just everything about Ferrari, you know, the whole area. It's fantastic. Without one man, Maranello would be a very different place today. All Enzo Ferrari ever wanted was to race cars, initially running Alfa Romeo's racing team. <laughs> in 1939, he left Alfa and went it alone with his race team, Scuderia Ferrari. Enzo reluctantly produced the first Ferrari badge road car in 1947. He had little interest in road cars, but needed a way to finance his race team. Look at that, the prancing horse. Ferrari, Ferrari, daddy, daddy. Scuderia Ferrari is the most successful F1 team in the sport's history. And Ferrari is now one of the world's most powerful brands. So if you'd hide the car for 10 minutes, I'd be driving it back now. Would that be worth it? Yeah. There's no other car manufacturer on earth that provokes such passion and pride from a whole nation. Especially when you consider how few Italians will ever own a Ferrari. Of the 7,000 cars the company make each year, only 3% are sold in Italy. I think when you see the red, that typical Ferrari red, it does put a smile on your face. And it seems anything with the prancing horse on it will put a smile on Italian faces. Because last year, they spent around £125 million on Ferrari merchandise. So why do they love this brand so much? Well, I don't think you'll ever find a better answer to that question than the one I get from this man, Massimiliano Marini, the mayor of Maranello. Maranello, the home of Ferrari. Why the passion, not just of this area, but generally Italians, why do they love Ferrari? Oh, uh, I think that uh, Enzo Ferrari uh, once said uh, that uh, Ferrari's cars are um, not better than the other, but different. They are made of the brain, of the blood and of the earth, of uh, the people who build them. I think that uh, we can, uh, when we see a Ferrari, we, we can smell this uh, flavor and uh, Ferrari tells the story of our land, and I think this is the key of the success of Ferrari. Ferrari are without a doubt the kings of the supercar world right now. 